Welcome back to part two of Distant Nights episode six. If you didn't see the previous part, check it out in the description down below. There will be a link to the playlist. Shut up, Gav. Where we left what? off. That I, was, I was me, actually. No, actually, I was just predicting Gaz being like, oh, tell them to put a direct links because he says that every I'm bloody time. I'm not paying time. attention. Yeah, that's not Oh, fucking course. So, <laughs> professional <laughs> intro here, guys. We're professionals. Um, yeah, so good. We are the best. Oh, just, just the best. So, um, 10 out of 10. Oof out of 10. Where we left off, you guys had um, tracked. You are tracking down a female redskinned Dulark called Talari uh, to a station that you had found in the system, which I do not. Uh, in the system JH 613 53 2035, which is a mouth, bit of a mouthful. Um, it's called Jav, uh, Jave, even. J A V E. You bought some Javian whiskey, which turned out to be real good whiskey, and you have found what you think might be Talari. In a bar, uh, a red-skinned Dulac who walked past with a drink who does appear to have a slave's brand on her hand. Okay. But, that said, the scars on her face that you were expecting, not there. And you're not entirely sure if the facial features are all the same. Um, How realistic would it be that um, she already had, went through a medical terminal and that would have healed the scars away? Just go ahead and roll me um, general knowledge. General knowledge coming right up. I'll try and do yeah, that as well. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. Three. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, I'm being bottled by... I still can't beat you today. <laughs> okay, let's... Nope. <laughs> okay. Um... Minus one. Beat that. We did. Charles and Andrew wins. No, we didn't. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, Charles Sandra, not really sure. Uh, let's see, it's possible. Um, it, it's certainly possible that that could have happened. Uh, Johnny, the face doesn't look quite right, even if that would have happened. And also, the scar on her hand? That would have gone. What about it? It exists. Yeah, you if were talking as if she got all of her scars gonna... removed, and there's a scar on one hand. I... <laughs> right. There we go. Sorry, I forgot Gav's a bit slow. You've got to spell it out from sometimes. <laughs> a bit slow, Tom. A don't... bit. Hey, hey, don't bully the boy. A bit. Don't bully him. Fuck you, Lewis. <laughs> Moving a bit. on. Gav, I got that. Like, Moving on. So, it's a possibility, but you're not not sure if this is your mark. Okay. Right. Um, as uh, you... I'll check the other Dulacs and see if they're any good. Uh, go um, ahead and roll... roll a perception to check to see if you can see anything with them. I'll just be tapping with my data pads. Um, I'm going to check. Does the hole in it actually work on 20. this station? Twenty. Um, it does appear to work. With a 20, you do get a, um, a pretty good look at some of them. You do note that one of them does appear to have um, a single very, very faint scar across their face. Uh, but they look pretty damn close. Um, it does look as though a lot of their scars have been healed, though. Yeah. But with the 20, Would... yeah, you think you've seen her. Uh... I think I've seen her. I'll point them out to her, them okay. just slyly, just sort of, just probably sort of, through a like a text I, I sort of thing. I, sure. Yeah. She's sort of in the corner on her own, just drinking something. Yeah. Um, just in the text, I'll go, I think I see her. I think she's over there. Um, what's the plan? Uh, do you reckon you could follow her without being seen? Um, Alexandra or of course I can do you want to just see if we can get her to the ship and get from there see what we can do find out what ship she's on I'm sure. I just sent a text message 
Dale her, and let's have a good night tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Not wink, too wink, good nudge, night, nudge. get too drunk. <laughs> Fair enough, and I'll I'll just start asking Falsing. So what do you guys want to do with the cash? Uh, we need to. Oh, I'm almost tempted to say that we should go over and talk and long see what's happening. Long term, long term. Come on, we're not oh, talking. What do we want to do now? What's the uh, end goal here? Come on. Oh, certainly get our proper license back. Yeah, we want a good license. We go speak to the ship guys. No. Sense. Beyond that, you know, we're talking retirement plans. You're thinking too short. Have some retirement plans. Money. We're not going to have enough money to fucking retire after this. Fuck off. <sighs> we're getting... no live goals, no anything, no nothing. Nah. Nothing you want to achieve. What's the point in that? You're just going to fail. That's a sad outlook on things. It's true. Trolder, it wouldn't. But it is. Like, that how, that's how life works. It fucking hates you. Look, at least I got the ship. If I really want to go live on a mostly deserted planet, you know, nearest um, convenience store, I don't know, 200 miles away, just park the ship and call it my home. If you want to do that, you better buy me a new fucking ship as well, or something, because I need to stay somewhere. Oh, yeah, I know. And you don't pay me enough for me to fuck off. The ACS doesn't pay enough for anything. True. But anyway, right, let's stop talking about this shape, because why the fuck are we talking about this shape? We are not a job. You're having a good night? Uh, yes, because talking about your fucking retirement and when you're going to die, like where you're going to settle down to die, is exactly what I would call a good I start, night. I start typing away. On my data band, you wanna um, and just send Lexi a message. You wanna talk about the job while we're on the job with the women in question in the same bar. No, I just want to talk about something that's not fucking depressing. <laughs> Fine, you come up with a subject then. I come up with ran some random. Uh, fuck it. I start. Taking the piss out of him for his flying skills. Just point out that you can't. I'm all your problems. Just sort of like you should have pressed that button there. Just sort of, <laughs> just sort of gently for the next hour start winding Johnny up. Oh boy. But like yeah, I know I'm, I'm not always every strict in my procedures. But when was the last time I actually crashed the ship? I okay. All I'm gonna fucking say is I'm trying to waste some fucking time till this person leaves. Because I don't particularly want to make a five-hour conversation up for something. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you guys... Time passes we get until she leaves. You sit down, you wait. Yeah. And you wait. Uh, and buy drinks every so often. Well, that doesn't yeah, yeah. look too dodgy. Dinner, if we have to. Or whatever yeah. meal it is. Uh, we'll get a table when one becomes free. Sure. Um, doesn't take too long. Yeah. You keep waiting. Wait mm -hmm. some more. Half a day goes by. Still waiting. Jesus Ooh, does it look Christ. Does he live here or something? After about 20 hours, she will leave. If you guys will wait that long. I would imagine I would have popped off a halfway through that just to have a wee rummage around just sort of a sure yeah yeah like... I, I join Lexi uh yeah or we always have one or two no we always have two people there sure yeah should, should we rent a room at this point no we should we're just having a good time we're like how long is everyone else staying normally not 20 fucking hours, I imagine. You're not really tracking yeah. them? Um... Like, I'd imagine we leave for an hour or something like that halfway through, so we're not... Yeah, we just sort of cycle, but never... Yeah. Always have someone somewhat close, but nothing too suspicious. Yeah, we can have someone outside the tavern. Yeah. Wow. 
Sure. Um, so you you keep people around. You keep waiting. It takes about twenty hours or so for her to eventually leave. She walks out completely sober, as far as you can tell. She's using grass normally, wouldn't she? Or in uh, fact, from what grass will get you drunk. Uh, from what we uh, we remember, uh, uh, has she been drinking, or is she just sort of there? It looked like she was drinking, and yes, it looked like she was drinking with grass. Okay. So, yeah. But doesn't grass still allow you to get drunk? No, not really. Or is it... Go oh, no. Okay. You can, if you push it to its limits. But that's not a good idea. Especially... Yeah. In a situation like us. She's not tolerant. Yeah. No. She don't want to get drunk right now. She walks out completely sober. After about 20 hours. I want to deal her then. Yeah. Sure. Stealth. Go ahead and yeah, rule, rule stealth. Let me bring. Up. Nineteen. Um, if I can get a picture in picture of my glasses, that'd be great. Uh, are we all in this bar at that time? I would imagine, but um, sure. I'm going to make sure that me and Gav stays for a bit longer in case. Oh yeah, we're staying. We'll stay for at least half an hour extra. Ish. Just to be, yeah, sure. Yeah, just to be sort of safe, but not exactly half an hour, like thirty-two yeah, yeah. minutes. We're not timing it, sort of thing. We're like, not timing it. Yeah, to the one it's of those things where we. Mhm. Mm As you begin to follow her. Oh my God. Wait, you're all nineteen. Yep. If I notice that she noticed me, I want to just. Oh God. Uh. Oh, by the way, before you leave, I tell you to say Jenga. Just text Jenga, like, just give you a big button on your thing. That means that we can fucking come and get you when shit goes wrong. Sure. I will imagine you guys set that up after two hours of being completely bored. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, as you begin to tailor through some of the corridors, you see her glance over her shoulder in your direction. I just want to pretend just to go what? in a shop once I see her do that. Shop. Or something. You like pretend to like look at some stalls. You look through a few things. Keep an eye on her. She walks. She sort of walks off, and you see her turn off down the way. You turn away from the shop and follow. And um, you see her beginning to twist and turn through various um, places on the station, doubling back on herself. And um, at that point, I I, I will just um, I guess Please. stop it or. No. Mm. She, she, no, I will try to. I will try to keep my distance from her. It's still sure. short. Um. We don't have trackers, do we? <laughs> no. Not yet. I should. Okay, I'm putting that on my to-do list. You yeah. Have to find a way to track her, but yes. Um. So. Can I like do something to like um. Hmm? Get me a bit more stealthy. Um. So. What you're doing is attempting to sort of pretend, but also keep good. Just go ahead and roll again, I'd say. Um, mm. ooh, ah. Not the dice that rolled up on my screen. Okay, so you beat up by one that time. Oh, that's not too bad. Yep. Okay. So, uh, you think... Um, she, she continues to um, twist and turn through different corridors and after like half an hour of clearly just leading you around the station um, you catch her just as she en enters one of the accommodation rooms that's on board the station you see the sort of a little symbol uh, on the keypad just flick over just turn to a little red padlocked icon okay I note down where she is and I'll text that to the others Sure. Um. Yeah. On getting that, we'll. In fact, I would see. How long does that take us? Him? Is that sort of taking him? About forty-five minutes. minutes. Forty-five minutes. Mm -hmm. We'll slowly walk over, just not too obvious. And meet him in a random cafe or something like that. There's just a bunch of residential areas around here. Um, like, All right. 
they're like uh, just rooms you can rent single rooms um it's just corridors yeah. and corridors of them it's kind of like being in a hotel but there's no hotel yeah um yeah I would imagine we'll find a coffee shop or somewhere, like a quiet coffee shop, not a busy coffee shop. Or quiet bar, a bar or something. You can't really find a coffee shop. Um, find then a quiet bar. Like yeah, okay. one that's got like five people in it rather than 20. Yeah, uh, you find a pretty shit small bar that has got a, two or three people in it, yeah. Yeah. Um... Right. So, how did it go? Things go well, or...? <laughs> well, I've seen the whole station, basically, I think. Or at least this part of the station. What do you mean? Uh, she went around in loops. Why? Do you know? She I just look either over briefly at, um... saw me tailing her, or she is paranoid. Maybe okay. both. I just look over at Lexi like, yeah, yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, it, that could have been a she was being paranoid or she could have seen. Like, was she giving a straight sort of place direction to where she was going before she saw you? You might think she saw you or... Did she actually? Uh, it's hard to say, but you think there was at least a little bit of sort of paranoid making sure she's not been followed, trying to lose people. A little bit, but not much. Not massively. Okay. Mm, maybe. Did you I'm have your sure. face covered or something? Just to make sure. Oh, I has got my hood up. Yeah, she's got, yeah. got like hood up and the hood's got a thing on the inside for covering the face. Okay, that's not too bad, I suppose. I guess. Hopefully she doesn't get too paranoid and just thinks that you're, if she did see you, that you're just uh, going somewhere. Like... Yeah. Let's face it, she's proper paranoid. Yeah, she knows. She knows this isn't. We're not the I first. Mean, something she has our reason to be. She does. We're not the first people to go after her, remember? <laughs> right, what's the plan here? Well, we know where she stays. Yeah. Should we find out how expensive accommodation is around these places? cheap. She will not have that. In fact, yeah. How much? Just, I'll look at the thing as sort of the data slab and see how much it is, or data slate. 200 marks a night. Oh, so that's actually quite expensive then. Marks. 200 oh, wait, marks. marks, sorry, yeah. Yeah, marks, yeah. yeah. It's, it's real cheap. We yeah. can stick around for a while. Uh, can mm. I go up to... One, um, can I hire a room for a night and go and see how easy it is to hack into it? Uh, sure. With my hacking data slate? Sure. So, okay. So, I, you're going to go spend 200 marks in chips, get a, get a room? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take the 200 marks okay. out. Give me just a moment. Because I think we need a bit of practice beforehand and we want to know what we're doing if it's possible. You know what? Each of you take 2,000 marks, wouldn't you? Sure. Note it sure. down as mark chips. Note it down separately. It's the only marks I have. Oh, yeah. Um, so you, you buy a room, you um, head on in. It is like student accommodation levels of bad. Um, there's a very small, uh, sort Just of... Just checking. Cleaning is, this Edin... is this Edinburgh there. Uni level, Strathclyde level, or is this, um... I have no idea. University of, um... How the hell would we know? Island sort of level. Having been to none How of those, I have no know? idea. What it is, is it's, um, about three... Edinburgh's really nice, Strathclyde's is okay, Highlands and Islands is fucking diabolical. It's uh, a few square meters of floor space. There's a single bunk on one wall, which can be sort of pulled up to have um, a little desk underneath it. Like you yeah. gotta pull the, the the thing comes down on top of the desk, so you have one or the other. Um, and there's a small cleaning unit, and that's all you've got. 
Okay. Clean the unit's basically just a real fancy shower. <laughs> um. Right. Can I look at see how I could hack into this? You see a few ports along the wall. Um, for charging things, you see. Um, I'm meaning on the outside to try and get in. If that makes sense. On the outside, there wouldn't be any ports. Uh, there would be only the wireless connection for the door key. Could I try and hack into that? Um, okay, so you bring your data pad up to it. You do not have any skills for this, so it will be disadvantage. Go ahead and roll me a technology. Um, technology. Hmm. See what that is. Okay, that's not terrible, but... Technologic. Uh, is there anything else that could intelligence also help on this? So it'll be technology, flight, intelligence. Flight technology. Flight technology. So first one's twenty. Oh, I feel that the second one's gonna. Eight. Oh, never mind. Um, you managed to avoid triggering like three different firewalls by a yep. hair's breadth. Um, okay. By any chance of the DC-18? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. Okay. Was it 17? Nope. Um, okay. I'm not going to tell you what it was. 15? No, okay. Um, Fuck. But okay, it was 10. After a few moments of trying, the, the little padlock um, icon sort of fractures or turns purple. Does, uh, I try and open it then? Doesn't open. Doesn't open. Okay. I think you borked it. Yeah, I think I borked it. Uh, I walk away. Just leave it. I left nothing important in there. Yeah. Okay. Just walk away. See nothing. If I'd they're... like to. While this is going on, I'd like to head over to the harbor Back. and just see what the goings on in this station is. Back to be arrives. Before, um, sure. just checking. Could we say that I got locked out of my room, effectively? So if they start telling us off. In fact, yeah, I go up to security and say that I got locked out of my room, and yeah. That's a bad idea. That's a really is bad it? Idea. Is it? But if I've tricked, in fact, fuck it, I'll leave it. Just leave it. If I can find that out later. Worst case scenario, she needs to move out. Yeah. In fact, worst case scenario, all of she us need to move, move out. out. No, I'm trying to hack the one that I hired. Oh. I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I decided, fuck it, let's hack the one so we get a bit of practice beforehand. So, do you walk away you... or not? Yeah, I'm a, I'm gone. You're not, not you. I... Um, the other two. Do you walk away Is or there not? any security guards approaching anything? Don't see anything. Do you walk away? Make a decision. I'll sort of try and look like I'm finding someone, but hang around for a bit and see if anything happens. Okay. So I'll walk away a bit, but I'm, I look like I'm trying to find someone to report this to, but not quite finding anything. Somewhat on purpose. After a moment or two, you see about four people in some kind of uh, yeah. heavy armor with I weapons drawn on the thing. <laughs> sprinting down the corridor towards the room. One yeah. of them stops, pulls out a data slate and starts going over the door. Um, I walk them... up to them, fuck it. I, I would have hit Jenga as soon as I saw them and as soon as I see Johnny and Chalazandra come in, I walk up to them. <laughs> well, I'm coming. <laughs> I I'm in the harbor. All you got is the Jenga thing that says, I'm fucked, help. What you do get is you get, um, the th the four of them appear to be talking in some language you don't understand. Um, and as you approach, they have weapons pointed at you and they're shouting something, but you, you don't understand them. No, sorry, I'm ignorant and only speak this language. I can't remember what this language is called. Aegon. They, Aegon, yeah. they look between each other and... Sort of look a little bit not sure what to do. And I cheat. That's a whole thing. It's a bit hard to tell because they do have full face visors. 
This yeah. is like an American tourist coming into a totally foreign country and <laughs> expecting them to yes. speak a language. <laughs> yes! This is exactly what this is. But as you, um, they sort of uh, take a slightly more aggressive stance towards you. And then uh, one of them walks over. Um, he t- taps like three times on the side of his head. And you see the vi- the like blue visor on his thing just boom, turns yeah. red. And he walks over. And the guy's maybe two and a half meters tall. Looks down at you. Yeah. It's hey, a dragon. Oh. You can kind of tell. Yeah. He just looks down at you. Hello. Right. So I got locked out of the my room and decided, fuck it, I'll try and hack in. Me as well. <laughs> I'll report that I got locked out later. Uh, and by the fact that you're here, I failed. Shit. Never mind. He looks at you and just... Show me your left hand. I show him my left hand. He grabs you by um, the wrist. Pulls it over to the thing. Yeah. Places it against the uh, the door. And the thing flashes green. Fuck, has it been looked to that all the whole time? Shake. <laughs> and it opens. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that we had those things. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. And he just looks out at you and. You're coming with us. He just, he just uh, begins to drag you. I no. continually spam Jenga a little bit. Just... Oh, fuck. I forgot that was a thing. You bloody idiot. Johnny, Charles, Sandra, what are you two doing? I'm having a gander Repl- around the harbour. Um, we're playing Jenga. Basically, <laughs> basically I want to, um, you know, figure out... Um, what kind of ships come and go here? If there's any business opportunities, probably for smuggling. Okay. I'm gonna try and find a game of Jenga. Like, try and not to actually advertise that too loudly, you know. Um, I should go ahead and roll me a communication. <laughs> oh, God. I'm legitimately gonna try and find a game of Jenga. Yep. <laughs> He's, ooh, 18. Uh, 18. Oh, you took him out already. Hey. Uh, 18, <laughs> Charles Sandra, you find uh, somehow managed to find a group of people playing Jenga in the corner. Um, they, they seem to be speaking some foreign language, but they'd like as you walk up and kind of look curiously at you. They, they in whatever foreign language that this group are speaking, it they appear to be pretty drunk, and they kind of like gesture for you to join and like start like pointing at it. Uh, I, I joined them. <laughs> sure. And you end up getting distracted. And I sent them, and I sent the picture of Jenga. As soon as I got that message, Jenga, I sent the picture of the game to Lexi. <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh fuck off, <laughs> Johnny. You yes. Are looking for illicit trading? Are you asking what? What? What re- exactly are you asking about, Uh Well, first I'm going to ask you around. What kind of ships come and go here? What kind of business there is to be done here? That basically I am... Um... Illicit... Trading in illicit goods and ships. That's basically what you get. Okay. Mostly trading in illicit uh... goods, really. And basically, after some point just to start making clear that I um, I'd like to join the business. The local business. Sure. You get your headway, um, get a little headway, and they kind of begin pointing you at a few various people um, yeah. around the port, and you kind of uh, get bounced between like three I, or four different people. The, are the destroyers the biggest ship around here? Uh, they're not. The um, no. Valkyres? Not even close. Uh, there's some pretty big trade ships in town at the moment. Okay, and Valkyres are not something that stands out at a station, is it? Stands out a bit that they're mil- militarized ships, but they're oh. not really that um, unusual. You, then, then I'll I'll ask him passing um, if those are part of the station security. Uh, no, they're not. Station okay. security apparently just use small fighters oh. mostly. Small fighters and big guns. Okay. Um, then I'll basically ask who to avoid not to get in trouble with those destroyers. 
Um, okay. Go ahead and roll another communication. That's going to be a separate check. Because that's going to be a sure little... thing. A little dodgy? Yeah, it's, it's going to be sort of... Mm, why are you asking that, kind of? <laughs> if the, um, sure, fuck it. Ah, uh, 12. You get a few strange locks. Um, you hear about a Captain Jack. Just a Captain Jack. Is his second name Sparrow? <laughs> no, it <laughs> just appears to be Captain Jack, and that appears to be an alias. Uh, um, and, um, nobody Captain knows who the other one's with. Um, but... Do they give me the names, respectively, or not? Uh, well, Captain Jack and Jack's, basically Jack's crew. No, no, no. Of the... Yeah, okay. The other one. Do they tell me which ship is Captain Jack's uh, by name? Uh, yeah, Jack's is the executor. Nobody knows where the Zadox came from. Mm hmm. Wow. There I can't see a thing at the moment. Fuck. So I'll just continue cleaning a hard drive. I believe the phrase you're looking for is uh, cleaning your boots in a cell. <laughs> I distinctly and remember they... the very first game of SNL that was ever played. Yeah. You ended up in a cell first session. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so do I. <laughs> that was a little bit railroaded in, but like, I'm pretty certain you ended up in a cell. Like, in this game, I always end up in cells. It's not good. Yeah. It really isn't. Like, I don't know what I do half the time. I just sort of... Oh, I suppose that one I did. Um, yeah, that, that the one was obvious. One, <laughs> the previous one, I didn't think I would get arrested or that fine for. And then the first <laughs> one, like, that first one, I have no fucking clue, but you just need to have it out for all three of us. Especially oh, no. me for my backstory. The first, no, the first one, like, that was kind of scripted. There was no getting away from that. That, that was me having no idea what I was doing as a GM. Um, having yeah. no idea what this game is, but no one knew what the game was, and we would try and stuff. It's yeah. also our thing, though, because on one of the campaigns we started on a prison ship. <laughs> yeah, that happened. They started on a prison ship. Yeah. Oh, I'm so fucked. Basically, Please I went full the first on you guys. You, t you lot started getting arrested, and um, the other lot started in a prison. No? Okay. So, um, right. it's for Elder Scrolls, not Bethesda, what matter. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Jolly, you, you're yeah, asking around sure. a bit, and after a while, um, yeah. you're still trying to find out who owns the Zedox when you get. Uh... No, 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 no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep asking who owns the Zedox at that point. Well, you're, you're trying to like um, ask well, around and find out, you know, if in any, a roundabout way, any, finding anyone that knows. Out. Um, and you start getting a bunch of pings saying. Jenga. Jenga, 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 fuck, fuck, Jenga, Jenga. <laughs> okay. And then you get a picture <laughs> of someone playing Jenga. <laughs> okay, um, if I'm still talking to anyone, I'll just ask him passing. Um, do you guys have some spam adverts for Jenga around this place or something? I think I literally set this up in your fucking computer. data slate in front of you. You know exactly what this is. <laughs> oh, I do. Jenga. <laughs> Uh, I also do. That's the game of the bricks, right? There's a uh, group yeah. playing that over and over, and uh, they, they just, I, I don't know, it's, there's a thing. It's a local fad, is it? Yeah, I don't know what it is, it's just a bunch of drunk people. Well, I don't think any of the original crew is still there, but they're just playing this massive game of Jenga. It's been going on for a while. <laughs> oh, friend. <laughs> So, Lexi, you find yourself yes. <laughs> dragged off towards a security office. You find, um, after a few moments of being dragged, you find that your uh, your hands cuffed together, and you find yourself shoved into a seat in a metal just box room. Okay. Uncomfortable sort right. of al aluminium type chair that's bolted to the floor. Just right. Kind of in a room. Um. So no one else here. <laughs> nah. Now that record is coming back to bite you in the ass. Stop yourself. Uh, <laughs> time for backstory. <laughs> <laughs> like, this has nothing to do with my backstory, this. Just... 
No, this, this is called. Is just right. This is called this failing is... to hack through something. Yeah, this is this is sort of expected. It was like I mean, a... failing to hack, failing to lie about it. <laughs> what else was I meant to fucking do? If I run get into away. even worse, just get away as soon as you feel the hack. Yes. That was a choice. But... Either way. That was a choice, but at that point they get my data chip and go, oh, that's who it is, and they ran away. Sort of thing. I mean, like, they at least this I way mean, I might be able to bullshit them in one way of like it was mal I mean, malfunctioning sort of thing. Either way, you could have just played it, it off as it's fucking your room. Why the fuck would you hack it? Like, either yeah. way, guys. Um, I'm fucked. This is the choice you have made, and this is the situation yep. we're in. As you find yourself staring at the metal walls. Um, and after a few moments, a holographic um, man in pretty similar uh, attire to the, the, the very big draconic soldiers that you saw before, although uh, visor appears to be up on this mask and appears to be a much bigger visor. It's up. Uh, this guy is Terran. Uh, it just sort of flickers to life in the middle of the room across from Hello. you. Hello. So then, what the fuck are you doing? You know, wanted to hack into my room. Got bored. <laughs> yes, you're attempting to breach station security, and you're doing it very poorly. Eh, like, I, I decided... On... It's my room, I'm not trying to hack into, like, someone else's, and I decided I'm trying to learn to hack into stuff, because it's somewhat handy. Well, here's thing the thing. And... It's not your room, is it? You rented it. Well... Yeah, I rented it, but it's sort of, it's I rented it. Room. It's our security system, and that makes you trying to breach my security system. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't take kindly to that. Mm -hmm. So, here's the deal. Yep. I'm going to send you to the boss, because I okay. really can't be bothered with whatever the fuck you're supposed to be. We'll see what he thinks of you. Okay. And you see the guy sort of lean on the desk and lean in real close and just. And as a word of warning, and as he does that, you can almost, even though it's a hologram, you can almost smell the awful breath. You see the crooked and sort of broken teeth, the scar, massive scar down one face. This okay, guy you don't fuck right. with. And here's a word of warning. Yeah. Don't fuck with the boss. And he's gone. Okay. And you find yourself alone in the room. I uh, check if I've got a data connection outside the room. You have your hands tied together behind your back. Yes, but I've got my glasses on. True. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a final point. Uh, but the, the food would be dark. Okay. You, 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 yeah, basically you're in the Faraday cage. Yeah, no, I was just checking. Not even a picture of Jenga on the screen. That's probably the last thing that showed up, actually. Um, <laughs> perfection. Okay, you yes. get a message of Jenga, you'd see a few more messages that say Jenga, 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 and then that's it. Um, you find yourself in the room. Yep. Okay. okay I'll just wait. After maybe ten minutes. The door opens this time, and a guy walks in. This is someone you've seen before. Oh, is it? Because you just oh, took God. a job from Spear, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is Spear here as well? You saw that you... Hang on a minute. You, you do a double take, and then you realise... No, it's not. He's dressed the exact same. He looks almost identical, but the, the facial features are... Not quite the same, his eyes are green, and... Wow, that's, like, just real creepy. Creepily similar. This guy right. walks in, looks down at I you. I just go, oh, oh, wait, no, sorry, I mistook you for someone else, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. So, I hear you've been uh, attempting to breach my security systems. Eh, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't oh, I, was draw I was drawing Lexi in a cage. <laughs> Stop, break. <laughs> so. 
You look like a smart girl. I'm sure you're well aware, but that's not the best of ideas, is it, darling? Nah, not really. Especially when you get caught. Mainly when you get caught. Yeah. It'd be an awful lot better if you didn't, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have been. But you did. Not very good yeah. at this, are you? Nah, first time. I was just sort of. I've tracked mm. this a bit in my room, sort of thing, on my systems, but decided let's try a bit of a proper one. Well, that's disappointingly pitiful. Aye. Uh, You're not going to do that again. No, no, I won't. Don't worry. You won't. Give me your data slate. I'll give them one of them. Hold on a hand. <laughs> You're tight. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't. Right. Hold on. <laughs> Snaps his fingers. <laughs> and, um, the large draconic guy walks back in. And, um, the, the same guy you saw before, he hoiks you up and starts taking, he takes your glasses off. Um, yeah, yeah. give you a watch on. Pulls that off you. Rick, stop. <laughs> Pulls okay, so I lose one of my watches. Watch. Takes any date slates you have on you. Uh, that would just be the watch, probably. The date slate. And my hacking one. Yep, and he takes that as well. And the glasses. Takes them all. Puts them in a little bag. Ties it off at the top and hands it to the guy next to him, which walks out. Doesn't say a thing. Yep. Just sort of, kind of, just as, as he does, just dropping you back into the chair. <sighs> okay. Well... No. Well, I have no idea who you are, and I honestly don't really care. But, um, you have what appears to be an official data chip, so... You're clearly new to this job. Aye, clearly. Yes. So, I'll give you some advice. Don't yep. do that shit again. Don't do that All kind right. of shit ever again. Don't... Don't be stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Just... He sort of... Can you don't? He just kind of stands up again and just... Here's the deal. You're going to be spending a night in the cell. And then we'll let you go. Okay. You won't be getting your data I... slates back. Damn. And... Um... I don't want to ever hear from you again. If I do... I'll take your hands next. And he just turns around and walks out. Okay. And the door closes behind him. Silently just shrinks into place. So I need to get another watch. At some point. And you I will one? be... Yes, I've got another one. But I want to get... I want to have a spare. Yeah. <laughs> Because this sort of sort of reasons. Yeah, because of this sort of reasons, of I will lose another one. This is not going to be the first time I'm going. This is going to happen to me. No, it really isn't. Fair enough. So, you kind of stare at the wall. Yeah. Just sort of. Have I been untied at least? No. Nope. Okay. Never mind. Oh, your wrists are bound together with some kind of field. You, you get a little bit of movement, but like. It's kind of like having them in really, really thick jello. Like, the more you pull, the more it resists. Oh, I'll just sort of get into a somewhat comfy position and just stay there. Yeah. They don't come back for you. <laughs> You're left there. Yeah, I was getting that. So, what are the other two doing? Um, Blink I guess at the, end, <laughs> at the end of my shit, I'll return to my ship for a rest. You have no idea what's happened to me. All you've got is the fucking distress call. You do not know that I've been. Yeah. Like you all you've got is distress call. Always get in trouble. And a fuck. And a picture of, of Charlie Sandra of playing Kinga. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go find Charlie Sandra. You've been abandoned. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> I'll so, go find Charlie Sandra. You find Charlie Sandra, based on that picture, playing Jenga with the guy you suggested. <laughs> Charles Andrew, since you've been there, like, three three people left and, like, three more have joined, and it's just a whole... It just appears to be this, like, people coming in and people nice. leaving. Um, I also want to... I also want to drink, so I'm going to be sure. drunk. So you're, like, slightly drunk. There's um, a couple of uh, people who have... Uh, like, a couple of games have finished, and you've rebuilt the tower a couple of times, and it's... It's this weird thing of, why are we playing Jenga on a space station? But you are, and it's just... 
sort of happened to you? Does he win I imagine it being like Space Janger, like a Death Star or something. In fact, Tom... It's just a, but a sort of person height tower. Go ahead and roll a dexterity check. Yeah, I was going to say, is he going to need to roll uh, to yeah. see how many wins? I, see, no, I, I, think my... join for, I will join for one round. When I, <laughs> I think my dex is like plus five. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Your dex is well high. I'll join for one round. Oh. 11, 8. Uh, go ahead and roll again, Charles Andrew. Just for the one round where Johnny joining you. Oh, yeah, bitch, I beat him. Oh, Hopefully. yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, in your first game, you do end up losing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the round Johnny joins in, it appears that, like, Johnny loses, and people, like, hand you a shot glass, and people sort of gibbering away in a language you don't understand. Hand you a shot, <laughs> a Me? shot glass. Or him. You, could, you, you lose. They hand you a shot glass, and they, like, gesture to, like, for you to down it. I'll down it. You down it, and then they immediately start re, re there's like a cheer goes up, and they start like rebuilding the tower. <laughs> um, 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 I, I just look over at Johnny, and it sounds um, like this. <laughs> um, Lexi wanted to join in. Where is she? I don't know. I haven't seen her. Well, just turn over to the other guys. They don't speak the, our language, do they? I don't think so. Best you could tell, they're jabbering away in like three different languages, and. Like, oh, it appears to be conversations going on here that are in two different languages on each side, and neither side understands the other. <laughs> I mean, drunk is a universal language. <laughs> yeah, you walked into a drunk party, and it, it's... Yeah. Excuse me, does anyone speak Egan? You get you get a bunch of replies, but none of them are in Egan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Get a couple of people, oh, like, convincing it's, trying to convince you it's your go. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll do one more round. <laughs> okay, roll the hex. Both of you. Uh, but after that, I am gonna go... 15 and... Oh. 17. <laughs> yeah. Um, this time it's just one of the other people that, that manages to knock it over. Uh, takes another shot. You see them, like, swaying unsteadily before attempting... before everyone attempts to, like, rebuild it. And but, but quite, like, two... Um, pulls into the sec into the round after that. The guy who just just lost just collapses over, just onto the floor, uh, just onto I'm the gonna, tower. I'm yeah, gonna get up, pat Charlie's under on the shoulder, and oh, yeah. say, "I'm gonna try and find out where people who get in trouble go. I'll see you on the ship later, all right?" Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just play a couple more games. Get fucking drunk for a week. <laughs> sure. Go ahead and roll. Or not because I have a high dexterity. Just roll one more time. Mm, you, or do not. Pretty, you do pretty well. Yeah. You don't lose any more rounds, but you do like drink a bit and just have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> you party. And then you just... found a party that was happening. Yeah, and then if I'm done, I just wave them goodbye and go back to the ship. Sure. Yeah. So, an hour or so later, you make your way back to the ship. Um, Johnny, where are you going? I'm just going to find the bar where they speak Egan, order myself a beer, and I'm um, just... Say to the bartender I was supposed to meet one of my friends, but I get the feeling they um, got in trouble. And ask where they could have possibly gone. Got in trouble? Well, um, oh, there's a good chance that they'd be in the brig, I'd say, but uh, uh, there's no guarantees there. Where's the brig at? Uh, it's like three levels above your man. Yeah, um... Pass me the data slate, I'll mark it on your map. Right, I'll just open the map before um, passing it on. Yeah, you pass the data slate on the map and he like, scrolls over and like marks it down. And it, it appears to just be, just like, uh, marked just a blank room. Like, maybe a meeting room or just storage or something, but like, he marks it down and he's like, Hey, this one's the brig man. This one you have to... Alright. Cheers, pal. Yeah, hey, man. It's the brig <laughs> man. Yeah, you're gonna didn't get any of that. Yeah, he says that's the one you're after. All right, thanks. I mean, um, he I'm said kind that of before. Here... Shut up. I'm kind of new here, looking for business opportunities. How bad are punishments around here, around these parts? Well, it depends what you do, don't it? What you it's doing? Like... I'm gonna say my my hunch is petty crimes. Oh, well. And general stupidity. 
Depends. Does your friend have hands still? Yeah. Well, they might not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> gonna be hey man, that's how we do it in Jamaica. Great shop. Then what? <laughs> well, then what? Do they keep them or do they just keep the hands? Oh no. I mean, it depends. Depends how they're feeling, really. It's a bit, uh, you know, unstable. Right. Bit dicey. Aye. Right, thank, thanks for the advice, Bell. Aye, sure, see you around, man. And I'll, I'll leave a five mark tip <laughs> pocket. Cool. Hey, man. Quick shop. Hey, genuinely, much... Rick, that's actually obnoxious. Please stop. <laughs> stop, man. How much is, um. Uh, who? How much is a mark? Um, a beer? Um. 10, 20 marks. Yeah, I need to deduct this. 10 marks, so I'll deduct 15. Sure. And I'll just head back to the ship and go take a nap. <laughs> okay. Beginning to feel like Matt Mercer here. One of these days I'll come up with an accent you guys don't mock. <laughs> <laughs> no I mean, man, that only possible, possible man. This oh. team blades. So, if Charlie Sandra is still awake, I'll tell her who the destroyers belong to. If she is not, I'll wait for that to pass on that info in the morning. She's probably still awake. Yeah, probably. All right. So she'll she'll actually, uh, yeah, she'll get continue. Back continue drinking in the sh on the ship. <laughs> sure. So you, you drink a bit more and sort of just have a have an evening, relax, sit down. And you I like how none of us are um, monitoring the person that we're actually here for. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I approve. <laughs> so we need to find out where she's gone tomorrow again. <laughs> you wake up yeah. next morning, um, bright and early. The pair of you. Yep. Lexi. Yep. You don't. Do I not? No. You've no sense of time. Right. You're just in a room, um, and having already waited twenty hours for someone after being awake for like the last eight plus however long you, were... yeah, yeah, you fall asleep pretty damn quickly, and um, yeah, with no sense of time and nothing to wake you, you'll be out for a little while longer than the others. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Um, yeah, like, there's no point in me waking up for at least like I'm in here for twenty four hours. 25, I think, but yeah. Or 25 then, yeah. Um, so, you two. What do you, what do you do? Um, I would just suggest we go we go to the docks, see if there's any um, life around the Z-Docks. I want to buy a game of Jenga for Lexi. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, the pair of you head on down towards the docks. En route, or en route, uh, you manage to pick up a game of uh, JV and Jenga for uh let's call it um 30 marks that's coming out of your pocket it's like yeah. equivalent of like three pounds yeah so game of jv and jenga um nice and yeah you, you head on down to the docks you begin sort of okay, right that <laughs> no, just kidding sure. i just need the jv part ah okay um, ah jv that's how you my avian but with a j in front um, and you... One moment, guys. Go AFK, apparently. Because we're professionals, and we never get interrupted in the middle of recording. Not and we all. always no. know what we're doing in the game. Absolutely. Always. Oh, no. Professionally. Like, we never end up in jail because we're a fucking idiot and forget something. Never. No, nope, that, that would weird... never happen. Like... That's the weird feeling. I have to play Jenga now. <laughs> Fuck off with your Jenga! <laughs> hey, you started it! <laughs> it's great because... I started it! L L Lewis, he doesn't know yet, don't tell him. It, does he not know? Alright. He's he's Jenga? Not yeah, Critical Role. Yeah. Oh, okay, you do know. Yeah. I thought you I thought you didn't know yet. Oh, I'm past that. I'm at, <laughs> no, you're I'm not. at the point where... I'm at... Yeah, I think I'm at the point where Pike uh, gets in again as uh, the, the divine form. Ah. Yeah, you're not past. 
Mostly because you don't go I past Jenga, it continues until like the very end. Nah, yeah, but I, I mean, I've seen the first of it. Sure. Yeah. So, um, Rick, don't, please. Um, so, you, can I have you back? Yes, I am. Cool. So, you make your way to, um, the docks, you ask around a bit, and you do manage to find that, um, some life around the, the two Valkyrie class, uh, but it, it does appear to be Jack's crew. Um. Well, I don't want to ask around too much. Yeah. Um, but it's more like you see it. It's quite obvious that, like, Jack's crew's doing it. Um, you ask sort of briefly, you're like, hey, there's been any word from this ship? Um, I'm like, no, not heard anything. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything. Yeah. This ship doesn't exist, it's for all I care. But no, Leave not, me alone. Not from uh, Jack's crew, from uh, the Zadox. No one's heard anything. Okay. Yeah. So it's fairly safe to assume that's the one. Yeah. Although I don't know any of this shite. None of you have came to help me yet. <laughs> I feel like you're being left to your sentence. You're in the brink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but come on, you would at least go see. See what's happened. I don't do what the thing was. They'll... Oh. <laughs> After how many times? It, it's okay. They're players. They can make their own stupid decisions. Don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> so. What do you do? Um... Guess I'm gonna go. Um, I lost Charlie Sandra. Where the um, which apartment the Dulac woman went into? Uh, yeah, Charlie Sandra. While we're in the docks. You've got it like noted down. You just... Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna check if these guys rent out apartments, and if that, and if they rent out specific apartments. As in, can I check if that particular apartment is still occupied or not? Um. What do you mean? You're asking the people as sort of yeah. at the dogs. No, 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 no. I want to check the website. Ah, okay. Uh, no, you don't rent specific things. It's to just ass assigns you one. Just you rent it, um, and it just effectively mm. gives you a, uh, a number. You go to that number. And you can get in through your uh, ID chip or through your data slate that you rent it out from. Shit. Um. Bu 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 bum. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I'm um. I'll I'll tell Charlie Zandra to go look around different parts of the station from where we've been. Um, and I'm gonna go head back head back to that bar. They spent twenty. We spent twenty bloody hours at. Mm -hmm. Let's see if um, any of those Deluxe women are still there. Let's see if they are still in full numbers. Or are they all red skinned? Uh, well, the, the ones you noticed were. There were other Deluxe women. <laughs> but oh, but you, you they were weren't the, one. Um, you were looking at the red they weren't. Uh, red skinned ones because those were the ones you were sort of specifically told to pay attention to. Oh, but the red ones weren't like um, one head group. No, no, no. Uh, they were just sort of spread okay. throughout. They didn't appear to be um, like associated at all. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the, from what you can tell, it the association of people here have nothing to do with their skin color. Yeah. Uh, it's just sort of. Yeah, I'll just guard st start going through the bar district. Just roll a few perceptions to see if I can um, find just, a trace of her. Yeah, just roll me one. Uh, should I also roll one if I'm looking through the station? Sure. Um, proficiency three. Four. Rip. 18. Okay, Charles Sandra, you don't find anything. Uh, Johnny, you do see the same person you were looking for. Um, Talari, you do see her at the same bar. Okay, so she's kind of stupid. Um, I am going to find a bar where I can effectively have a look at the exit of this one. 
sit down, order a drink, There's and I'll message chart. One entrance or exit. There's no, nothing. Isn't there a different? Isn't there a different bar, like facing this one or something? No, this one appears to be, uh, like, kind of off the ways a little bit. It was the one you got pointed at. It's like the best one. Um, it's next mm. to a bunch of storage stuff and a bunch of doors that just go to varying places. None of them appear to be marked with anything to do with bars. There's a bunch of stuff in script you don't read. Um, well, you read the script, but the, the language makes no sense to you. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, you know what? I'll, um, hmm. Can I put your head upside down and pretend to work or something? I'll head on in and, um, sit down at the bar again, sure. order a drink, and I'll message Charlie Sandra that, um, the target's in the bar again. Sure. So sure. If she can get in some position to tell her, that'd be grand. Hmm. Can I go set up like outside the bar stealthily? And just get a really secluded spot with a view on the door. It's um, an empty hallway that's maybe 15 meters wide by 50 meters long. Um, and about as hmm. tall. Uh, it has a number of sort of cubic meter boxes just littered throughout the floor, and there's a crane up above that uh, moves along a rail and just moving boxes around. Um, there's not really anywhere secluded. Hmm. I'll, along the route, she walked the first. Mm -hmm. uh, the first part of the journey, Varatilla, is there anything I could, like, hide? Um, roll me an intelligence check. Um, intelligence, that's a free. Yeah, no, this would be intelligence. 12. Twelve. All right, yeah, um, you sort of think back, and you think you've got a couple of places that would work. Um, there's, like, a few, like, little alcoves or, like, um... Like maybe a broom closet type thing that you could sort of store yourself in and wait if you wanted to. Sure. I messaged Johnny, you just messaged me when she leaves. And I guess I'll just walk around a bit until I get a message back instead of okay. hiding. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm just gonna. Hmm. For the business opportunities, was there anyone who. Um... Who was pointed at? Who would reside here at the tavern? Um, no, not here. Shit. Then I'll just sit around here, seemingly waiting for someone. And at some point, I will ask the bartender and start asking some random people who just sit next to me at the bar, effectively if they've seen Lexi. Okay. Uh, just go ahead and roll the communication. Twenty. Yeah. Um. After a while, uh, you asking around, you do come across this. Uh, some dragon dude walks in and uh, sort of sits down at the bar next to him, and you ask him, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I arrested her." <laughs> <laughs> I just sigh. What for? Uh, he was trying to mess with the electronics, breaking security stuff. Did she cause you a lot of trouble? No, not really. Puny little turns. He pats you on the head, <laughs> turns to the bartender. They, they just start conversing like rapidly in some speech you just don't understand. I'm just gonna sit there like, yep. Um, I'll, I'll ask if um, I get a moment at some point if he knows where she is and if she'll ever be coming out of, out of the break. Last I heard, she was in the break, uh, 25 hours, so, same time you lost her. Right, fair enough. Uh, does she still have both hands? Last I heard. 
At least that's a bit of a relief then. What? Thanks, man. Let me order you a drink. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. He seems to open up a little bit more after that, but uh... yeah. You know, if he opens up, I'll ask about the station and shit. <laughs> sure. Like, what do you really want to know? You're asking about <laughs> general shit. What what this place is like? What life's like around here? Okay. Uh, so basically, you get we're settling sort of, down. Sort of general chit chat, but um, yeah, it, it yeah. appears that this is um, seems to be a pretty decent station. Um, run by a guy who calls himself Lance. Um, no one really knows anything about Lance, uh, except that a few people have said that he's a clone of someone, or that he has a clone, <laughs> or that there's another guy who's, like, real similar, maybe they're, like, half-brothers who runs another station, he, like, basically points you at the one, uh, that you came from, is like, hey, never go there. And, um... Well, I do not disclose the fact I've been there. Yeah, I assume. And, uh... The, sort of the station, everything is kind of beholden to Lance's whims, um, and he's a pretty sort of uh, what's the word? It's kind of I, rules with an iron fist, but rules pretty fairly, from what most people say. It's like you know, the laws aren't stupid, and if you don't break them, with, it's fine. With his own iron fist or with someone else's fist? <laughs> pretty fairly by pirate standards. Yeah, which is it's pretty damn fair. Pirate code. That is probably. a thing, and I do need to actually write the entire thing out at some point. It's probably fairer than the lines, in a sense. Mm, yeah, if you don't consider tax, if you consider, if you're one of those people that thinks taxes are stealing, then yes, this is the sort of place you would probably think is fairer than the alliance. I mean, yeah, okay, <laughs> I... the people here are pirates. They are murderers and rapists and like horrible, horrible, horrible people. At least they don't have taxes. But yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but at least they also don't try and force you to go fight for them all the time. No, yeah, that's that. Yeah. Right, so that's me just went through all my hard drives. I'm just oh, documenting all of them. Um, <laughs> just This is what happens when I've got nothing to do. <laughs> Speaking of, Lexi, you awake in the cell. Oh, thank fuck. There's a clock on the wall in front of you. <laughs> Slowly counting down by the millisecond. <laughs> it's got about, uh, how long would it have left? It's got like uh, 17 hours left on it. Okay. 17 hours? Jeez. It looks like this is um, how, how long you, you're supposed to be here. Yeah. Yeah, 25 take out 17. It's about where well, it, it's just, more like it'll be like 16 and a half, but yeah. I just started singing um, Hung Up by Madonna. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> on repeat. <laughs> See if. Like, I bet I buy about the fourth or fifth one. Someone's coming in to tell me to shut up, I think. And I'm just trying to check whether or not there is someone watching me. You get no response. <laughs> Do not? Okay. They've just muted me. Great. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I continue. Uh, roll me a perception, actually. Just quickly. Halfway through, does um, music come on for me to continue singing? Nope, I'm just roll <laughs> 13. Uh, yeah, you do notice a tiny little red light appear on the corner after a little while. Okay. You squint it a bit and, huh, and you realise it appears to be the sort of standard shape of a microphone with a line through it. <laughs> <laughs> You can use it. Yes! <laughs> I can now talk about all the legal shit. <laughs> Bli <laughs> it blips off. <laughs> so. I, whenever that comes off, I just continue to sort of. St I stop singing, but as soon as it turns back on, I continue singing. Sure. Just, so, uh, I keep that microphone off on purpose. Sure. So you spent the next, uh, almost the next day, basically, just messing with them. Yes. Like, I have to do something to keep myself amused. You're also not... But every time it is a different song. 
Just make, just making stuff up, just like. No, all sort of like classic songs, like um, just ACDC, on repeat. the Bee Gees. <laughs> a bit of um, Fall Out Boy, a bit of um, well, Meatloaf. Uh, Shine Down comes on at one point. The heck is Meatloaf and that other one? If... Go fucking Google them. They're great. If... I mean, I know Fall Out Boy. If any of those were actually bands that had existed, but being not human, they're not. But either way, yeah, that, that kind they of are that, fuck off. they're not. <laughs> but uh, they probably are somewhere. But the chance you hear them, yeah. like it's incredibly small. Um, but the, um, the the idea remains. You basically sing sort of classic music to them, which is what we would consider pop yeah. music today, or rock music, or just basically all sorts of music. Um, Until yeah. they stop, because they get they just, they just in the end they just don't turn it back on. It's like okay, we're just gonna leave you muted. You're being <laughs> difficult. You win. <laughs> what, yeah, I win. What are either of you two going to be doing during this time? Well, I've got someone to um, keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. A message Charlie Sandra when she leaves. Um, I will have it. Hmm, will. Is she going to leave before the 24 hour mark? 25 hours or longer? Uh, well. Is there something that you would do before then? How long? Yes, go and find, um. How long will you wait my friend. before you do that? How long does it take to walk there? 10 minutes. So you're basically going to wait until yeah. she's released and then go find her? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So before that, about 5 hours after you sit down. It's about 12 hours to go for Lexi. Yeah. It wouldn't okay. actually, this would be about, um, uh, yeah, it'd be about 11 hours actually. He spent a lot of time doing other stuff. Um, a, an AI sort of walks on in, in this hard mech, kind of cheap looking hard mech body, walks on in, walks over to her, and they have this, um, conversation that you can't overhear in a language that you don't understand. You can't just. It's a slave. Little snippets and words, yeah, with uh, Talari. And then, after a while, he walks out. Right, and a few minutes later, she walks out after him. Okay. Or finishes I'll her drink. And tell... and follows him. Yeah. I'll uh, message Charlie Sandra, like, she's left. Be wary of a mean looking neck. Hmm. Okay, I'll go stealth then. Okay, go ahead and roll the stealth. Yeah. And roll me a perception to see if you notice her. Oh my god. 13, okay. Uh, is... mm. okay. Alright. Well, she's not been stealthy. Uh, you do see her, briefly. But it appears that she's not going the same route she did before. As you just sort of see her walk past the turn off to down where you are. Just, just goes past. Um, she's going a different route to the way she went before. You can attempt to follow her if you want. Yes, follow her. Rick. Rick? We've lost Rick. His internet just high. I imagine he wants to follow, and I'm imagining he's probably going to be better than you. Oh, he's definitely better than me. I only have a stealth of plus one. Yeah, so why don't you make him follow mm -hmm. you? Ah, there you go, yeah. you're back. Rick, you got out. Oh no. Huh. So. Oh no, is that a perception? It is. Rick, are you oh, fuck. attempting to follow her? Uh, only if I can reroll myself. <laughs> yeah, you can, basically. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna attempt to follow her. Uh, okay. I hope okay. this is good. No! No! <laughs> yeah, she rolled an 8 and a 9. Real good. As soon as I, as soon as I know that I'm, I'm gonna. God. She doesn't really make um any no like you see no um gesture from her that she's noticed you. Um, you don't get that sense, but you do like um realize you, know, you sort of make a little bit more noise than you were expecting, and you're like, yeah, I'm probably probably being noticeable and pull it off. 
You're not sure if she saw you. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. She walks past. For the little ways that you do follow, she appears to be taking a pretty roundabout ways down towards the dock. Mm hmm. I want to head to the dock then and see if I can. I got sort of cut them off somewhere. Okay. No, that's where my leg is coming from. Fucking World of Warships is downloading an update again without one, without asking my permission. Uh, Rip. So you head on down towards um, the docks. Take a sort of direct route. Yeah. Got there probably before them. Um. You go, kind of, towards it. You. you see them pretty much uh just as this uh, you see the um an ai of some kind uh walking over towards the docking pad where you see that the huge front of this ship is just docked into the station um and you you see uh, her walking up towards it hmm i make a note of that Okay, um, yeah, so, they both walk onto the ship together, unless you want to stop them. No, I don't want to stop them. Okay. Um, the sort of ramp at the front of the ship closes up. After... I message Johnny. After two or three minutes, you see thrusters beginning to come to life on, along the underside of the ship, and the ship slowly lifts off into the air, backs out of the station, Okay. I want to see if I can note, away. note down any, like, numbers, names, stuff like that. Uh, go ahead and just roll a perception. Um, other than the name Zedox, which you see printed across the side of the ship. Oh wait, it was the Valkyrie. Valkyrie, but yeah. Valkyrie. Okay, okay. Uh, I just messaged Johnny, uh, the, the Valkyrie, so taking off. The Valkyrie is the class of ship. Uh, you see the yeah, name the Zedox. Zedox, is the name. Zedox is the name. Um, other than that, which you see like across the side of the ship, you don't see anything uh, identifying other than that. But I just messaged back. Inside. I was just messaging, what? Why? I don't know. What the fuck's <laughs> going on? Is she on board? Yes. Fucking jackass! And I start and I'm gonna run. Uh, I'll just put my drink down, excuse whoever I'm talking to, and say it's urgent, and I need to leave urgently. Yeah. I just messaged him, what about Lexi? <laughs> what about our heads? Nah. <laughs> I'm basically running to my ship at this point. Okay. You Do you message me? chat? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm messaging that, so, like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to my ship now. Okay, I'm gonna go to the ship then. So, you two head to the ship, leaving behind your party member. <laughs> yeah, <fuck laughs> your crew member. I was expecting to need to re-roll re -roll a character at some point. But you not got... this fucking Yarly! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you got get a tr you gotta get a shuttle ticket. <laughs> and as you guys head towards the uh, your ship, sprint around the corner, uh, and up up the ramp into your ship. That's where we're going to leave it for tonight. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck's sake! So, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next episode. If you like, Get leave you a like. Sake. If you want notifications, hit subscribe. Click the bell icon. Turn the subscri subscription and notifications, whatever. Do all of the YouTube things, because it'll take you about two years, because YouTube exists. And it's a pain in the ass. Um, Jorgon, I want to ask one thing. What's the fallout of the uh, of their of the wake, effectively? What? Like, if they're going into, um, is it subspace we use? No, you use warp. You don't know what uh, they use. Yeah, if they yeah if they go into warp, what would be um, the half time of their signal? Half -time. How I would be able to track um, them? You'll be able to track it. Uh, it depends. Like, it, honestly, there's so many factors you couldn't say. Depends on the drive, depends on the ship, depends on um, the, fucking, the feeling of space around it, how much it's already been churned up recently. If anyone churns it up afterwards, it, it's... It, there's no guaranteed science on it, really. Um, are we talking what... Okay, are we talking hours or minutes? It could be three seconds to three years. You have no idea. 
it, it could be okay any i think time. it's gonna be more than three seconds for a military vessel that's you size. have no idea there are okay. systems that flatten space behind you specifically that that block that um they're pretty basic but they do exist they're really expensive you you really can't say and it's not just about that ship either it's a lot about the local space and the stations um and also it depends they might not even be using warp yeah it's well i guess we're fucked so yeah thanks for watching um also this is starships and lazy guns it's a test build there is a big update coming uh 0 0.8 comes with cool new artwork so um you can find that kind of stuff on um the website if you want all the test build and all, all of the uh basically everything you need to play except um any idea of what the fuck you're doing is on the website uh, so go check it out we also have a patreon for cool people like rick who are like to help support and keep the project live let me get out work keep the website going all that great stuff check that out as well because you people and are other cool. people just as insane as me yeah <laughs> you people are awesome um yeah more insane also don't I'm end insane. up like me just don't it's just don't. Not yeah don't don't end up in a brick uh, <laughs> just and also just don't. aftermath check it out because it exists and uh, you're bored now because you've just uh, hit the end of Distant Nights, unless you're watching this in the future, which you probably are because we haven't uploaded it yet, which means go watch the next one. Anyway, catch you.